Hi, this video is about how to replace dim retention tabs or dim, dim retention clips, what have you. So pretty much right in here, these guys here, you know, I broke one off on one of my computers. Well, my only computer. These are just junker parts I got from a local store to help fix the one I had. Um, here's the culprit right here. I'll just try to zoom in on that. Broke clean off. Now, before I get into how to do it, I'll just say, you know, I haven't confirmed uh, um, how many time, how many types of styles there are. I'm, they're probably mostly universal, but I chose the one out of the two computer motherboards that I have at my disposal. Which one um, worked? Seemed like it was the best match. So I'll just uh, line them up here. There's that one. And then here's, so that's the original, and here's a white one from another um, as this board sorry if I didn't say that right but basically you can see they're a little different um, not sure if they'd be compatible or not uh, I found though the one that worked for my broken one here was from this uh, MSI motherboard um, you know rather than the one from the same brand name motherboard that I have on my computer but uh, anyway you know there's there are looks like thinner ones too as you can see this one has uh, two types there's the fat ones there like what i want and then the skinnier ones beside them but anyway aside from that uh what you do to take them out i'll try to take this one out one-handed or at least i'll show you how to do it you just you know push it back if for mine i i had a piece that was lodged at the bottom so i had to take tweezers and grab uh the broken piece off uh, the bottom of the slot and, and pull it up while I was doing this torquing motion with a screwdriver. I just put in a flat blade and you just uh, see how the clip uh, opens up there so it has a bit of play and uh, if you do that you know um, you know I don't know how easy you on it you have to go but you just do that and you can you can take uh, this you can pull that straight out and it'll just there's a couple little placement tabs that hold it in in place in that plastic so yeah just Torque on it a little bit with the screwdriver to open it up and you can pull it out. There you go.